Hi, I'm Nikos Mantis. Welcome back to Kitchen Conundrums. Today we're going to talk about slicing and dicing different fruits and vegetables. I'm going to give you some tips and pointers on how to do that. I'm going to start first by using onions. It's probably one of the most common ingredients used in cooking. Um, and I'm going to show you a couple easy, quick ways of preparing slicing, dicing uh, onions. So for this application, I'm going to use my chef's knife. I'm going to cut the top and bottom off the onion. Onions are in layers, so if you score the first layer of onion, you're able to remove the outside layer, peel, and get, get to the inside flesh of the onion. So now we have an onion ready to use. There's a couple different ways of slicing and dicing an onion. First you want to cut the onion in half. You'll notice when the onion's in half, you'll see all the layers of the onion. You'll see the root at the bottom of the onion. And these are all important to note while slicing your onion. So you always want to keep the root of the onion away from where you're slicing. For in this example, we're going to dice an onion. So we're going to score the onion, keeping the root intact without cutting all the way through in a series of lines. So your onion is going to be held intact but separated. From there, we'll turn the onion and we'll cut perpendicular to our initial cuts which is going to give us a nice dice of onion. So through a couple nice slices, we have consistent diced onion. To slice an onion, we're going to take the root out, remove it, and again, in a slicing motion, that will slice an onion for you. Using that same knife, I'm going to show you how to cut a pepper. A lot of people struggle with peppers. If you look at, look at kind of the anatomy of a pepper, you've got the stem on the top, on the inside of the seeds, and the outer layer of the pepper is the flesh. So if you cut this in four quick slices, which I'll show you, you're just simply cutting the outside of the pepper away from the stem and from the seeds. What you're left with is the seeds and the stem, which can be discarded. You'll notice there's not much waste and we're just left with the outside flesh of the pepper. Again, using our French or chef's knife, we can slice. We've got nice sliced pepper. If we wanted to dice the pepper, we're going to do the same process. We'll slice and turn perpendicular to dice. Now, if we're getting into larger, denser fruits and vegetables, I'd like to use a knife with a thicker blade. I have another French or chef's knife, thicker blade, more robust. As you can see, it's quite difficult to cut through. You have to apply pressure, so you want to use a good knife. Something like a rutabaga, you'd probably want to cut several times into a dice or a cube. Always be cognizant of where your fingers are. Try to keep them curled back. Turning back to my thin blade chef's knife, we've got some fresh herbs, we've got some fresh basil. Maybe you're using fresh basil and you want to release some flavors, cut it nicely. A, a tip and trick for slicing basil, this could be used the same for spinach, is to grab a layer of your herb, roll it in your hand, hold that on your cutting board, and in a slicing motion, not a chopping, we'll finally cut through our fresh herb. So those are some quick applicable uses for different knives in the kitchen. My name is Nikos Mantis. Thank you for watching Kitchen Conundrums.